Good day, everybody. Good night. Good evening. Uh, my name is Paul Siegel. I am the president of CandleCharts.com, and I would like to welcome you to my session here tonight on what do you want to achieve on your path with candles. Uh, I know that we will be having a lot of people logging in throughout this session, as well as a lot of people that will be watching this via recording, because as you'll hear later on, we do have students in 85 different countries around the world, and there obviously is not one right time to do a session where everybody could be there live. So if you're watching this live, I encourage you to type in questions while I'm going through the session. If you're watching this via recording, uh, my email is paul at candlecharts.com. I'd be happy to answer questions uh, either here live or through email from people watching this via recording. And we're getting some great comments already coming in. Uh, hey, Diego, Diego saying he's glad to be here and he discovered Steve Nissen recently. Uh, that's great. Glad to have you here, Diego, and, and glad to have everybody else here. So uh, before I really get into the session, just a couple of things. First, uh, I always like to set the expectation for what you're going to get in the session before we even get going. And this is not a candle training session the way Steve or our team typically would do where, you know, we're going over charts and, and uh, you know, analyzing markets and things like that. That's really not what today's about. Today is more about what can be accomplished or, or really my key word here tonight, you'll see it multiple times, is what can you achieve? Uh, so if you get just one idea or one thought or one concept, or even if you're just reminded of a concept that you already know, but it kind of gets reinforced to help you achieve what you're looking to do in your trading and investing, then I think I've done my job here in this session. Uh, I've been a trader myself for about 21 years now. Uh, I've been working for Steve for about 14 years. So I don't claim to be Steve Nissen, but I've been to every session he's given in the last 14 years. So I do know candles pretty well. Uh, because of that role of working for Steve that long, I have had the opportunity to speak with students, traders, hedge fund managers, you name it. I've spoken to them, uh, gurus in the field, and I know what works. I know what, hel what helps people make more money for their accounts. Uh, so I believe I am a great resource if you do have questions and how we can help. So before we get going really into the meat of what we want to talk about, do have to show you the risk disclosure. Uh, if you want more information about this or if you want to read this, uh, it is on our website at candlecharts.com slash disclosure. I do not recommend that you sit there and study this. I hope that you all know that uh, trading and investing has risk, but as you all know, without risk, there is no reward. So let's get into a little bit just for people that are, are new to candles, like our couple of friends here that are popping into our session right now that are brand new. Uh, and thank you for letting me know. So really, you know, the common question that we get is what are candlesticks? How can I use them? How can they benefit me in my trading, my investing? Does it work for me in my country, in my market, my time frame? So real quick, and let me just get my handy dandy spotlight here. Candlestick charts are easy to understand. Okay. Anyone can be taught this very quickly. They provide early indications of market turning points, meaning identifying times of when to enter and when to exit. And sometimes my favorite things are when not to enter and when not to exit. They completely give you unique market insights, things that bar charts will not provide. These are things that show you not only the trend of the move, but how forceful that move is. As I'll show you in a little bit, candles enhance Western technical charting. So we do encourage that you utilize candles in combination with other Western technicals. And as you'll see and hear from me multiple times, candles can be used in any market, in any time frame, around the globe. We have students in 85 different countries that we're aware of. I'm sure that there might even be more than 85, but candles can be used whether you're trading stocks, Forex, futures, commodities, uh, options, 
CFDs, mutual funds in some fashion, uh, ETFs, cryptocurrencies, you name it, it can be used. And as far as um, who they work for, we work with day traders, swing traders, active investing and investing in general. So the same knowledge that you utilize for looking at a daily chart, you can use on a one minute chart, a monthly chart. Again, if you do have questions, I encourage you to type those in. So this is obviously just the anatomy of a candle. You see two candles on your screen, a white candle and a black candle. The white candle means that it opens near the low. Let me just get my drawing tool. So on a white candle, the open is at the low, the close is at the top of the white candle, and then the high and the low are the lower shadows, the low and the high of that candle session. Notice I said candle session. That could be, you could be looking at a one minute chart, a five minute chart, a daily chart, a monthly chart. It does not matter. Realize if you're looking at a hourly chart here, that hourly chart can be broken down into four separate 15 minute candles. It can be broken down into six 10 minute candles and so on and so forth. On the right here, you see a black candle. This means that the open was up here and the close was down here. Before I move on, if you have a question about the anatomy of a candle, please ask. I wanna make sure that that is definitely understood. Doesn't look like we have any questions on that. So now that you have an idea of that candles can be used in any market, any time frame around the globe, and you understand just the basic anatomy of what a candle looks like, whether it's a black candle or a white candle, now realize something, some platforms will have um, black and white candles, some will have red and green, some will be blue and yellow, depending on your platform would dictate what colors you have. And I do know that most platforms out there, you can certainly customize those colors, okay? So what you see now on the screen is our candle charts family of websites. We have three different websites. And I know some people get confused as to why do we have three? Why aren't you all on one? Uh, how come you have three? And are they all owned by our company? And yes, these are all three parts of our same company. Oh, Diego, great question. Where can I start learning from you guys? You're in the right session at the right time, Diego. Uh, if you just stick with me throughout this session, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can be getting going with almost immediately, okay? So great question. So let me just tell you about our three different websites. Candlecharts.com is our main site. That's what Steve created, oh, about 20 years ago, I want to say. Roughly about 20 years. Uh, this is our main site. If you went to Candlecharts.com, you would learn about Steve. You would learn about our team. You would learn about some of our main products that we have to offer for anybody. And when I say anybody, I'm talking about someone who's never traded before all the way up to a group of hedge fund managers that we work with and help. So the great news about that is we give the same education. If you're putting on your first trade that you've ever made with a small amount of money, or if you're trading that same market, but you're a hedge fund manager and you're trading hundreds of thousands of shares, same education, obviously they might have slightly different amounts of capital in that account, but it's the same knowledge. So at candlecharts.com, you'll see a lot of information about our company. On the bottom left there, you'll see Candlecharts Academy. So that's our site, candlecharksacademy.com. For any of you here uh, live or watching the recording, if you own a any of our products, like our Mega Package, our Express Class, our Nissan Candle Scanning Software, Forex Training, Option Training, or any of our other, I believe we have about 75 or 80 different products listed, you would be able to log into your account at candlecharksacademy.com and have access. Now, the great thing about that is the access can be done from any internet enabled device. So whether you're looking at it from a tablet, a desktop, a laptop, a smartphone, a smart TV, or any other internet enabled device, you would be able to log into your account at Candlecharks Academy and be able to go through your resources, whatever they happen to be. And log in as often as you'd like with your username and password. 
the only thing I tell people that you need to remember is what your username and password is so that you know how to log in from other devices. On the bottom right there, you'll see mycandlecharts.com. Again, this is part of our family here at Candlecharts. Mycandlecharts.com is our membership site. This is where we have daily interactive sessions. So you can log in here every day. It's a different site at mycandlecharts.com where every single day we do daily market recaps. We do two times a week, we'll do a strategy session where you can ask our team to analyze the market for you. We have chart challenges. We have a trade setup of the day video. This is a trade that we're either doing or at least considering doing that day. We'll tell you what it is, why we would possibly enter, where we would enter, where our stops and things like that would be. We have a lot of other interactive training at mycandlecharts.com. So people always ask me, why do you have Candlecharts Academy and mycandlecharts.com? Think about Candlecharts Academy like a library where you go into the library and you want to check out some resources that are there. They're not going to change. So if you owned, for example, our Forex training inside of Candlecharts Academy, you could log in there and watch the streaming video formatted educational sessions. Or if you own our software or anything else like that, that's where all of the resources would be. MyCandleCharts.com, again, is where we have that daily interaction for ongoing guidance every day. So people say, well, what does that mean? Well, I can tell you that back in February and March, when our mentors were giving major warning signs that the market was about to fall, if you had seen that before it was actually falling, you would have been in very good shape. At the same point, just another month or two or whatever it was later when the market started rebounding and coming back up, I remember watching the daily market recap that day and the reversal signals that candles were providing and giving that guidance that day. If you had known when to get out and when to get in, you're having one of the best years of your life in the markets. And that's what mycandlecharts.com is designed to do, provide you with ongoing guidance. Look, the markets are going to change, okay? I had this long conversation with a trader last week on Friday afternoon. Uh, Alex is telling me March 23rd was the bottom. I think it was, yeah, it sounds about right. Um, so this trader who has had a long trading career told me that he was having one of the worst years of his life as far as trading goes this year. And I asked him why, and he said, well, the markets are wrong. And my first reaction to that is, the markets are never wrong. The markets are always right. The traders and investors that learn to adapt to the current market conditions are the ones that will have great outcomes. Okay, there is no one right answer to everything, certainly not. But the markets will continue to evolve. We had people in February, March, and April saying that this was the time that they were going to jump in and start trading. And they would call us up and say, Hey, is this the right time to get going? And those were the days, I don't know if you all recall, but those were the days back in March and April when the Dow Jones would either be down 2,000 points in the day or up. 1500 points. Does anybody remember those those days back in March and April when there was vast swings in the market? And my first analogy back to them was that's like trying to learn how to swim for the first time ever in the middle of the ocean during a hurricane. That's exactly what it was. However, with daily ongoing guidance, you would have at least that professional opinion of what was going on in the markets and have a lifeguard there for you. So hopefully that makes sense. Next up here, and this is something that I always like to reiterate. Remember I said at the top of the session, if you just get one idea, one thought, one concept, a lot of you might know what a SMART goal is. I believe in this strongly. Whenever somebody calls me up and says, hey, what can I achieve? I get that question a lot. What can I achieve by understanding candles? And I said, well, before we can help you achieve something, you need to know what are your goals. But a goal, when I ask that to the average person, the average person comes back and says, well, I want to trade so I can make more money. Well, everybody wants to make more money, I would imagine. I'm sure there's only a few people in the world that wouldn't say that. But everybody else wants to make more money trading. 
So I'm a firm believer in creation of and following SMART goals. Okay. A SMART goal is an acronym. S is for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic or relevant, and T is time bound. So when somebody says that they have a goal of making more money in trading, that to me is not a specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time bound goal. Okay. Everybody's different. Everyone's going to have a different SMART goal. But I encourage you that if you don't have one for your trading and investing, that all you are is just sitting on a float in the middle of the ocean and letting the ocean take you wherever it wants to take you. However, if you have a SMART goal and you have a goal in mind, a specific goal, you'll be able to get there with the guidance and you're going to go towards that point rather than allowing the market to move you around. You need to adapt to the market and work towards achieving your goal. So a lot of our consultations are there to help you understand what a SMART goal should be for you. Now, to achieve a SMART goal, you need to have trading rules, okay? These are not trading rules that I give you or that Steve Nissen would give you or that you read in a book. These are trading rules that work for you, nobody else, okay? And I'm gonna go over a couple of ideas or examples of those trading rules as we go through this. But I would encourage you all, if you didn't write this down already, that if you want to do well in trading and investing, that you create a SMART goal. And to create that SMART goal or to achieve that SMART goal, you start creating trading rules for yourself. If I'm not making sense or I'm blabbering too much, just write that in. Or if you have a, or if that helped you, it's great to get feedback as well from anybody here in the room right now. That would be great. So what do we have available as far as our team? Here's our team. And in, in addition to myself, we have Steve Nissen. You all know Steve is the founder and CEO of Candle Charts. He's the one really that brought candles to the Western world. Uh, Greg saying yes to the rules. Um, so St everybody knows Steve. He's been doing this for decades. Um, and he really is the guru. Whenever I went with him to live seminars or things like that uh, in professional arenas um, of trading and investing, people would come up to me and say, you know Steve? <laughs> so Steve is basically a rock star in the industry of trading and investing. Under the picture of Steve and his quick little bio there, we have two what we call Nissen certified trainers. These are the only two people in the world that Steve has given this title of Nissen certified trainer to that can teach on behalf of Steve. Notice I'm not teaching you about candles necessarily here tonight, even though candles obviously are a major part of it. Uh, Sil and Brian, both are Nissing certified trainers. They have both been independent traders for themselves for a long time. Both were students of Steve and both have been hired by us to become Nissing certified trainers. They do a lot of the sessions inside of my candle charts. They've created a lot of our educational programs and services that we have to offer both inside of my candle charts as well as candle charts Academy. So this is our team of mentors of who we have available to assist you. Now, before I mention SMART goals and trading rules, I will tell you, if you don't have a trading rule related to risk reward ratio, I think you're making a mistake. Now, I'm always gonna tell you that there's no one right way to trade and no one wrong way to trade, but I believe that every consistently profitable trader that I've known in my trading career, in my career working for Steve, every consistently profitable trader and or investor has a trading rule associated with risk and reward ratios. Okay. That doesn't mean that everyone has the same ratio rule, but if you don't have a risk reward ratio, I believe you're making a mistake in creation and achieving your SMART goals. So I wanna make sure that that point is very clear that in my time talking to, with people of all different levels, everyone who's been consistently profitable 
has some form of trading rule related to risk and reward. Before we go further, I want to make sure this is a trading rule that you also start thinking about if you don't already. Notice this is just a picture, a horribly fuzzy picture of multiple highways. And I thought it was a great analogy of needing an exit strategy even before entering. Okay, a lot of people don't understand that. They enter a trade because they think it's a great time to enter the trade. And they'll tell me, hey, I just entered a trade on XYZ. And I say, that's great, tell me why. And they start telling me the reasons why. And I say, okay, what's your exit strategy? And most people will say, what? And they don't have an exit strategy. I personally, I live in New Jersey. I don't know uh, if everyone's familiar with New Jersey out there. I'm not sure exactly where everybody's from, but like I said, we have people in 85 different countries, so I'm sure there's many people that don't know New Jersey. In New Jersey, we are very famous here for living near a turnpike, a highway, a parkway, you know, um, and everybody knows where everybody lives in New Jersey by what exit number they live by. So I know if I get on, on the highway and I want to go see a friend that lives north of me, I know what exit number I'm entering and I know what exit number I'm exiting off of that highway. This is very similar in trading. You need to have an exit strategy in place that will help you not only when the market moves in your favor, but an actual exit strategy in case it doesn't go in your favor. So this is an analogy, again, one of those trading rules. And hopefully, again, you got the idea. If you just get one idea, even if it's an idea you already had, if that reinforces something for you and it helps you, even better. Now, let me tell you, when I first started trading, I'm going to feel like an old man here now. When I first started trading, I had to climb uphill both ways. No, no, I'm kidding. The commissions that you used to have to pay to buy a stock 21 years ago when I first started trading was significant. You had to pay significant commission to enter and to exit a trade, which is a big reason I'm... I'm I, I believe it's a big reason why many people 20, 30, 40 years ago would buy and hold, right? They would buy it and hold it. Now, I'm not saying that the commissions were the only reason why, but I will tell you that zero commissions today are a major reason why you can start trading the right way with very small positions. So think of this as an example. Let's just say the commission of old was $100. A lot of times it was much bigger than that. So if you bought a stock for $200 and it went up to $300, so you think you made a $100 profit. No, you didn't because you already had to pay all of that back in commissions. I'm assuming it was only $100 for a round trip commission for entry and exit. Now, if you bought a stock for $200 and it went up to $300, you're paying $0 commissions, at least in many brokerage firms. Okay, so this is a major variation for what it used to be, which means you can, big things often have small beginnings. A lot of times, people think they have to buy 100 shares. Hey, Burrell, uh, you're going to have to email me that question, Burrell. We're not going to get into specifics about software in this session. Okay, Burrell? Um, big things often happen in small beginnings. I tell people all the time, when you first start trading, you don't need to buy 100 shares or even 50 shares. You should buy one share, five shares, eight shares. It doesn't matter. Again, you're not paying commissions to enter on stocks the way you used to. So what if you're just starting out in trading and investing? A lot of people lack that confidence where they are worried about losing their capital. And I under completely understand that. There is a risk involved. So start very small. Here's the techniques that we trade or we teach. Steve, Brian, Sill, everything I follow is Steve teaches what he calls the trading triad success system, okay? This means that candles are not 
to be used by themselves. Candles are one leg of the triad. Now, obviously, Steve is a guru in candles, so if you want to learn candles the right way, you came to the right place. The other leg, or one of the other two legs, is Western charting tools. We want you to utilize candles in conjunction with Western charting tools. We're not going to tell you which one you have to use. We certainly all have our favorites. Steve has his favorites. I have mine. Brian has his. So has his. But candles should not be traded by themselves. The third leg of the triad is trade management. Trade management goes back to that rule of about risk reward. Okay, risk reward ties in directly to trade management, which combines with Western charting tools and candlestick charting techniques to comprise the trading triad. So now that you have a little better idea how we have our websites at Candletarks Academy and MyCandletarks.com. We talked a little bit about SMART goals. We talked about trading rules. We talked about starting small. We talked about having an exit strategy even before you enter. This all comes back to really how we started the session. What do you want to achieve? We get this question often, but people don't really ask that specifically. So let me give you a couple of examples of what I hear, because I do have a lot of conversations with a lot of students. Other people will tell me that they want to add income on a weekly or monthly basis. They want to help with bills. They want to get into retirement. They want to have extra income so that they can have a hobby. Talked to a student last week who has a boat. That is his main hobby. He wants to trade so that he can enjoy more boat time. And he's even going to be trading from his boat now. Uh, the second item there, make profits to use towards a purchase of blank. I knew when I first started trading, and again, I'm going to show you how old I am here. One of my first goals was I wanted to trade with the intention of putting my two children through college with trading profits. That was 21 years ago when I came up with that goal. Well, right now, my older of my two ch children is currently a freshman at college. The entire first semester tuition payment came out of trading profits. So that was a smart goal that I created two decades ago. A lot of people want to set aside money for education for their children and grandchildren. Some people want to create a trust account for a family member. Some people just want to pay the rent. They want to quit their job. So what I'd love for you to do, knowing that you're getting something out of this session, hopefully, is to fill in your blank. You don't have to write it down. You don't have to type it in. But what do you want to achieve? And, and if you come back with the answer of, I just want to make more money, or I want to have more money in my account, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Everybody wants more money in their account. But what do you really want to achieve? What is that money going to do for you? And when you have that as a SMART goal, you start understanding how specific you need to be, how measurable it needs to be, how attainable, how realistic, how time-bound can it be, okay? And Burrell, yeah, I'm gonna get to that. Stick with me, Burrell, okay? So I hope this, uh, this slide isn't too philosophical. I hope we took it to the point of we're here to help you achieve what you're looking to achieve, okay? That's what we're here for. Steve has been in business for decades because he has been able to help a lot of people achieve what they're looking to do. So who is this type of training for? When I say this type of training, I'm talking about everything that we have to offer here at Candle Charts, Candle Charts Academy, and mycandlecharts.com. Like I said a couple of times, we have students in 85 different countries around the world. We have brand new traders and investors every day. Every day we get people that will come in and do a chat or call us or email us or say, hey, I've never done this before. I wanna take advantage. We have hedge fund managers. We have people looking for that additional income. 
We have people who want to have a lucrative hobby in the retirement. I get this a lot now. People that are looking to retire or are retiring and are looking to have a lucrative, meaning they want to make money in the retirement rather than just spending it. A lot of people say they want to travel, they want to play golf, they want to go boating, they want to go, you know, do whatever, which is all great. But why not find a way to make additional income in retirement? People who want to take control of their financial futures, people who are intraday, swing trade, position trade, professionals in the financial world, active investors, and most importantly, who is this type of training for? It's for you. You wouldn't be here right now watching this either live or via recording if you didn't want to take advantage of what candles can do for you. So here's just a few comments from uh, students that we have. Edward says mainly trade Forex, so he's always looking for ways to improve his trading. A better understanding of candles and their, and their use with Westerns can only help his trading ability. Edward understands what that trading triad is all about. Here's Barry who says before he joined my candle charts, he would make gains in the market and then lose them all back. His trading has become more consistent with more winning trades and fewer losing trades over the past few months. That sound familiar for those of you that have traded some? And then the last comment there, my candle charts is helping me understand the market trend better and feeling well to make my own trading decision confidently. That word confidently is heard so often by our team listening to our students. This is one of my favorite things. When I see a couple, uh, this is a husband and wife from David and Monica who say, we don't know where to begin to let you know how much we've gained from doing your course. We've reached the stage that we're able to trade full-time together, and we'd like to let you know that you've completely turned our trading around for the better. We're so grateful and owe you much for uh, the success to Steve. These are just some of the many different stories that we get. I'm a big baseball fan, and this is one of my favorite quotes of all time. And it doesn't really pertain to directly to trading, but Yogi Berra, a lot of you may or may not know him, but he said baseball is 90% mental and the other half is physical. Okay, if you really think about what that means, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of trading and investing is mental. Understanding if you have smart goals with trading rules and how we can help you eliminate the emotional side of trading and turn it more into a science. And that's what candles can do. It provides you with reasons to enter and exit. So if you replace this quote, if you replace the word baseball in that quote with something that matters more to you, trading is 90% mental and the other half is physical, okay? These are kind of ideas and concepts that we know work for our students. Here's a major concept. If you haven't heard this idea yet before, please, this is an idea that it took me a little while to get going when I first started training to understand. So these are just some silly cartoons of a doctor and a lawyer. If you ever notice, and this is not to offend any doctors or any lawyers out there, but they practice medicine or they practice law. Why? I, it took me a while to understand why they only practiced medicine or why they practice law. And just the common quote, no one is perfect, everyone needs to practice. Well, no one is right 100% of the time. And a lot of our traders or brand new students think that they have to be right on every single trade, that it couldn't be further from the truth. No one, not one professional trader I have ever met has ever been right 100% of the time for any extended period of time. No one, okay? This next slide is going to be powerful. This is a, a slide of analyst records from the days when Steve, just before he, he opened up his own company at candlecharts.com here. This is when he was a broker, an analyst, way back. And what we did was we took this chart. This was from, I believe it was over the course of one month. What you see is the analyst and we blocked out the names in case you know, we didn't want to offend anyone there. You see Steve's name at the bottom of that list there. You see the P&L, which is the profit and loss statement for that period of time. You see the number of winning trades. You see that in the win column. And then the last column there is the losing column. If you look all the way at the bottom there, you see S. Nissen. You see 98.30. You see that he had 20 winning trades. 
and he had 24 losing trades. Notice that. Think about this. He had more losing trades than he had winning trades. Then if you go up and down that P&L column, Steve had the largest profit for that period of time of anyone there. And he still had more losses than wins. How is that possible? I get that question all the time. How is it even possible to be that profitable and have more losing trades than winners? And it's the idea of trade management combined with candles, combined with Western technicals, combined with trading rules, trade management, knowing how to exit a position. Now, if you go up and down that list, let's just take a quick look. The first person on the list did pretty well. He had 12 winners and 18 losers. Take a look at some of the other big winners. The one, two, three, four, five, six person down. His profit and loss was only about two thirds of what Steve did. He had six winners and seven losers. The person just below them, 19 winners, 28 losers. If you go up and down that list, even if you go down about two thirds of the way where somebody had nine winning trades, one losing trade, their PL was less than half of what Steve's was. So even though that person had a good win ratio, their PL was less than half of what Steve's was. Okay? So just think about this idea, this concept. You do not need to be perfect. You do not need to make money on every trade in order to be profitable. When I tell new traders that, they think I'm crazy. They think that you have to be right 90 to 95% of the time in order to be profitable. I will go on record right now and tell you that the most profitable traders that we know are not are correct or have winning trades maybe 50 to 55% of the time. Think about what that is, what that means. You don't need to be perfect. You can start out small and you can build up as your confidence grows. This is great. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. You all know this. You all know that if you want to achieve your SMART goal with trading rules of everything that we've talked about, you need to take that first step. It has to come back to you now. It can be done. It has been done. We have students that have been working with our team for years. Are you willing to take that first step? Now, some people will, here will say, well, I'm already trading. I've already taken that first step. Well, we're here to make it even better. So we have a couple of special offers for you to take that first step, and then I'll certainly stay on and answer questions that you have. I'm going to talk to you about two different programs that we have right now available for you for our beginners or those that are new to using candles correctly a lot of times people say well i know candles very well i learned about it on the internet and i'll ask them what internet site that they learned about and they tell me a couple of sites and i go to those sites and they're showing wrong information so again for beginners or those that are new to using candles correctly we have a program called hajime Okay, Hajime in Japanese means the beginning or introduction. Hajime is a combination of three different videos. One of the three is our express class, three different videos that will take you from the beginning, hold your hand and walk you through the beginning processes of what you need to know in order to trade in any market, in any time frame, anywhere around the world our Hajime program, and I'm gonna show you special offer in a minute. Here is our Kaizen program. This is for our traders and investors who are above that beginner phase. This is for people who already have some of our introductory products or understand candles. Maybe they have the book, they have our express class, they wanna take the next step. Kaizen is the Japanese word for overcoming or the need for continuous improvement. No matter how good you are, no matter how great you are, there's always room for continuous improvement. Our Kaizen program is hosted inside of mycandlecharts.com. And just, just to make it clear, Hajime are recorded videos. 
They are all located inside of our site at candlecharksacademy.com. Kaizen is a interactive program which is housed inside of our site at mycandlecharts.com. So in addition to the Kaizen training, you would also have three months of access to our mycandlecharts.com program. Again, Kaizen is for our, I would call it above beginner, uh, pretty much an intermediate to bring you up to an advanced, where Hajime is for our beginning. Now let me explain how this works. Our Hajime program, we're giving you a coupon code the coupon code is Hajime100, and I'm going to give you links and things like that to go to, to see all the information, everything that's included. We're going to give you a coupon code to take $100 off of the price of Hajime. The coupon code is Hajime100. If you do purchase Hajime, in addition to saving $100 immediately, we're going to give you $50 of what we're calling candle cash that you would be able to utilize towards your next purchase, whether that was for software or for any other training programs that we have to offer. Our Kaizen program, we're giving you a coupon code of Kaizen200 that will take $200 off of the price of the Kaizen program. And then we're giving you $100 of candle cash. Now you might say, I already have Kaizen. I might have Hajime, or I'm not interested in either one of those two. I'm interested in your software or other training that you may or may not have. We're giving you a coupon code of ACHIEVE. The coupon code is named ACHIEVE. If you go into the library at Candle Charts Academy and utilize that coupon code, it would provide you with a 20% off coupon. So with that, for all the information on how to take advantage of either Hajime or Kaizen or the 20% off coupon of ACHIEVE, you will go to candlecharts.com slash achieve. If you're watching this via recording, that means you're already on this page. All you need to do is scroll beneath this video to see the more information. If you're watching this live, you would just be able to go to candlecharts.com slash achieve now where all of the information is there. Included on that page, is if you're not sure what program is right for you, you can fill out a consultation form and that form comes directly to me. And then we reach out back to you telling you what we believe would be the right next step for you so that you can achieve what you're looking, looking to do. If you have questions of any kind, you can always email me, paul at candlecharts.com. So with that, what I'd like to do is take any questions that you may have at this point. Uh, I know that a lot of you will be watching this via recording. Uh, so if you do have questions, again, send me a question at paul at candlecharts.com. So a couple of questions. Someone just asked, how does Hajime work if I already have other programs? Well, if you have other programs, you really have to think, do you need Hajime or would Kaizen be the right program for you? If you're not sure, you could do one of a few things. You can either email me, paul at candlecharts.com. I'd be happy to go over it with you. You can fill out that consultation form, or you could do a chat on our site. Please know that any and all of our chat agents, in addition to being very knowledgeable about candles, are also traders themselves. So they trade and work on our chat so they can answer questions for you. You could do a chat at that page at candlecharts.com slash achieve. Another question is, for Kaizen, I'm just reading long question. Yes, you would have three months of access inside of mycandlecharts.com. That's also where we have the pre recorded Kaizen training videos listed right there. Kaizen also comes with a consultation over the phone with me so that you would have a consultation with me. And it also comes with two coaching sessions with either Brian or Syl. Remember, Brian and Sill are our two Nissing certified trainers. So Kaizen is a more advanced training program designed to take you to a higher level. Give you an idea, we have currently three different hedge fund managers going through our Kaizen program. It's the same training that we would give to them as to somebody that is looking to trade for themselves. So with that, uh, I do see a couple more questions, but they look like personal questions about their current situation. I don't necessarily want to get into that here right now. If you do have questions, 
uh, please email me directly, paul at candlecharts.com. Couple questions, does it work on a Mac? Uh, everything that we have can work on a Mac, uh, including our software. There is, uh, for the software though, you do need to have uh, a program like Parallels or something like that, so that uh, because our software is a Windows-based program, uh, Daniel is saying, uh, so because it's a Windows-based program, it can work on a Mac. We do provide you with instructions on how to make that happen. But if you do have more questions, certainly email me directly, paul at candlecharts.com. Now, I'm going to just get back to one question before people jump off. At the beginning of the session, I asked, or I, or I put out there, that if you get just one idea, one thought, one concept, or even just we're reminded of a concept that is important for you, then I think I did my job. So just for a little feedback for me, for anyone in the room right now, can you just type in anything, any type of feedback? I got one idea, one thought just came in for me that I didn't think of before, or it reinforced an idea for me. That would be fantastic feedback for me because again, everything that we do here, including our Hajime program, our Kaizen program are all designed based on feedback that I've gotten, that we have gotten from students. Oh, and there we go. So I just got three, four, five, six, seven people um, telling me that they'd got a idea reinforced. Now I just got one person saying nothing new. Well, that's great because for some of our advanced students, there should not have been anything new, but hopefully it reinforced some ideas for some of our more experienced traders. Yep, there we go. A couple of people talking about risk and reward. A um, couple of people saying we did a great job and you need, uh, yeah, Greg, great point. Greg needs to use what's uh, right there in front of him. Uh, some of these things were very simple concepts, but I'll tell you with everything going on in the world right now, not a bad idea to be reminded of these simple concepts that can lead to incredible results. I've seen some incredible results and I encourage you to achieve what you're looking to achieve and allowing us to help you achieve that. Um, thank you, Linda, Linda saying great information. Uh, a lot of good info in the session, great. So I'm glad that we helped, that I could help at least a few people out there watching this live. And I know a lot of people will be watching this via recording. I encourage you here, uh, watching it live, go check us out, candlecharts.com slash achieve. We will be putting the recording of tonight's session into that uh, block so that you'll be able to watch this again. Uh, if you do have questions or anything else, let us know, email, do a chat, or let us know how we can help you achieve what you are looking to do. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day or evening, wherever you happen to be around the world. Take care.